everyone welcome back to a new vlog um well i guess it's not really a vlog i'm gonna take you through all the beautiful beautiful baby shower gifts that i've been given for our second little baby boy who is due in a month's time <laughs> it is absolutely uncanny and i feel like there's a lot to be done uh, my husband and i were just chatting about it this morning and we now allocating our spare time to try and to organize as much as possible because the hospital bag needs to be packed, the baby clothes needs to be washed, also packed, and um, yeah, just our arrangements needs to be sorted. So let me dive right in because I've been completely spoiled. So there are a lot of clothes for this little man. Um, so let me try and move as quickly as I possibly can through this because I know lots of you will be interested in seeing what beautiful beautiful items we were given for our baby and um, things that perhaps you might want to add to your registry or if you're looking for inspiration for a friend that's having a baby too. Let me start off with this bag because there's a few items in here and um, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you so much to everybody that has spoiled this little baby. It is uh, quite overwhelming to know that your baby is so showered in love. It, it honestly is. I cannot thank you enough. Um, everybody that has had a part in showering this little boy. So to start off with, I've got three books here. This is a beautiful, beautiful book um, from my friend Irina. This is Ikabog. This is by J.K. Rowling. I've been so interested in it. If you know anything about me, you'll know I love books. And um, I also love children's literature. You know, some of my favorite books of all time have been classics from um, the stories that I read when I was a very young child. So I'm very excited to dive into this. Um, the back says, as tall as two horses, eyes like glowing balls of fire, Long, razor-sharp claws, the Ichabog is coming. Next up, I have a book from my precious friend who is a midwife. And it says, hello world, look who's growing. And uh, she recommended this book because she says it is just fantastic for any kind of interest in development. So it takes you right throughout the years. It takes you from a newborn, and it takes you to like a, a little bit further than most um, most books will. So I can see already here uh, like two to three year olds and potty training that's uh, relevant right now. So um, that's great. That's really so helpful because usually you only get help up until the end of your first year in a book I've noticed. Um, so that is really amazing. Then I have this memory book. Hey baby. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's a canvas cover from my friend Nicole. Um, I see it's from Cotton Run Kids. And it's got the sweetest things in um, with beautiful, beautiful gold paging, um, gold trimming. Absolutely stunning. And then you can record all of your milestones and things in here which is just so lovely i think this is the most lovely the loveliest keepsake i've actually seen it's beautiful then i have this gorgeous uh, little cotton blankets and uh, it's very light and stretchy so it's going to be perfect for the summertime for the spring baby and then we've got a few little baby grows here i've got little dinosaur and then this is the cutest thing guys this is bro <laughs> so we're already teaching teddy that he's big brother so seeing bro is going to be awesome how pretty is this bag it's so lovely okay in here we've got the cutest things too so i've got um this little baby grow that um zips up and down i think this is also from cotton on if i'm not mistaken maybe i am no, it is from Cotton On. So it sits up and down, which if you have any experience in changing nappies in the middle of the night, if you can zip from the bottom and don't need to take baby's whole baby grow off, that is a huge one. Okay, then I have this 
Oh my goodness, the little dungarees. I think this is from Nachi Kids, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. Um, with a little bow tie. Oh goodness, I'm such a sucker for these. Like a little shirt and dungarees and a bow tie. Oh my goodness. Just stops my heart. So that is just the sweetest. Then we've got lots of socks. So baby's feet are going to be kept really nice and warm. Next up I have this lovely bag that says Oh Baby. And in here, this is from colleagues from work. This is so lovely. Um, I have got the softest blankets that I've ever come across. It is so precious. So lovely. Um, so that is just gorgeous. And then a whole host of beanies. And if you followed me while I was um, a, still a newborn mom with Teddy, you'll know he always had a beanie on. He was never without one. And these little ears, oh, they're too cute. They are honestly too cute. From another colleague at work, I have these plastics. These, for any new mom or um, anyone looking to help a new mom, you cannot have enough of these little woolies classic standard baby grows um they are just amazing and they wash so nicely so oh, they're just they're amazing they're wonderful i love this bag this bag is so cute so i always joke that teddy's going to be an astronaut so i wonder what this little baby is going to be um okay we've got another the softest of soft blankets this is like a velvety texture with little dinosaurs on oh, so lovely and you also go through lots of these blankets because you use them so much you take them out and then um you know they need washing frequently so it's so lovely to have a variety of those also have this oh, sweet 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 little um sets with the bunnies on and then the bunnies on the pants so so cute so this oh it's just adorable in this lovely green <laughs> i just love dungarees i love dungarees on little boys and then this little stripy shirts oh it is so cute and then this is a little footless one which is really nice because once they start toddling around um it gives them a little bit more freedom to roam this gorgeous packaging is also so stunning with the rockets on I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> the illustrations are so lovely. So this is also from a friend from work. Um, thank you, Lucetti. This is a bunch of gorgeous, gorgeous Dove baby soap stuff. And you know I'm mad about Dove. So. Oh, and it smells beautiful. But yeah, she got the full range of... The Dub Baby Lotion, the Soap Bar, and then the Sensitive Head to Toe Wash, which actually is on my hospital um, hospital bag list. They, they suggest that you bring this, so I am thrilled. Thank you so much. There's also a little nail clipper and scissors in here as well, which is great because you know those little fingers are quite tricky to navigate from my friend Dudu at work also gorgeous gorgeous I don't know where everyone found these beautiful beautiful bags um, she offered very kindly to baby sits and then she also bought these cute little shoes <laughs> look at these sneakers from my team at work I was absolutely spoiled I received a wonderful woolly woolly voucher which I think it's in here. Yes, it is. So I better take that out for safekeeping. Um, let me prop that over there. And then I had this gorgeous sparkly Dumbo. Oh, isn't he so cute? So lovely. And then to go with him is the Dumbo Disney book. Oh, so sweet. My mom was an absolute lover of elephants, so I think she would have loved this too. Oh, these are very cute. And I'm sure they're going to be used a ton in the summer months. This little dinosaur set. Oh, it is just too sweet. With 
I guess I'm going to get an education in all sorts of dinosaurs coming up. I was always interested in them growing up. And then when I was 21, I went to the museum, the Natural History Museum in New York and got to see a whole bunch of skeletons. So I'm actually very excited for these little boys to teach me all about dinosaurs. That is so cute. Another keepsake item that I received is this beautiful frame. And then on uh, or inside the box, you can also see there's these two little keepsakes. The one is for your first tooth and the other one is for my first curl. Oh, so sweet. So, so sweet. Teddy had barely any hair up until this point. Um, so I wonder now with the second baby, is he going to have hair or is he not? And then I also received this beautiful, like absolutely stunning um, book. And what a bonus. It's a hard page um, board book. So... That is great because I didn't realize at the time of buying books for Teddy and <laughs> those little fingers are quite rough with their books. So now I only look for hard page board books um, to give them, I think for the first few years really. And so this is just so lovely. Oh goodness, it is just so sweet. Kisses and hugs from animals, oh, so lovely. Then I have this gorgeous bag, this. I think may have been a present for Teddy, if I'm not mistaken, um, but I'll include it here anyway, since all the boys are going to be sharing clothes eventually. This is the collared t-shirts and the most gorgeous little set of shorts. Oh, perhaps we need to do another island trip so that we can wear those. I'm just wishful thinking. I think your budget changes once you've had two. <laughs> so next up, I have this gorgeous box that was so beautifully packaged. I can't describe. And it did have the developmental book in, that, in this gorgeous, gorgeous setup. That um, was so stunning, but uh, just to keep it safe, I uh, kept it separately. So anyway, here yeah, from my wonderful friend Amber is this beautiful, beautiful elephant. Oh, isn't he so sweet? And he's so soft and cuddly. And then I've got this lovely muslin cloth. Uh, you also can't have enough of these. They're so good to breastfeed with, to swaddle baby with, to cover the pram with, or um, just drape over the car seats. You really can't have enough of them so thank you so much amber um i've got this <laughs> gorgeous baby euro so cute without the legs and then together is where we love to be oh this is for tiny baby so um yeah that's a little little one it goes up to the size 1.7 kilos so I don't know, it's so tiny, I don't know if we'll get to wear that one actually. Um, this is also a teeny tiny one, up to 1.7 kilos. Uh, but I have to say, previously with Teddy, everybody said, don't buy uh, newborn clothes, start from zero to three. And we had the smallest baby. <laughs> So he was 2.4 on discharge. We had to go and buy prem clothes. We actually sent my mum-in-law to go and um, buy prem clothes. So I think she realized that this baby's too small. So um, she went ahead and bought us some baby bros. So um, it does you well to have sizes, all types of sizes, because you just never know. Then she also spoils us with these beautiful, oh, can you see that print with the little hot air balloons and the moon and the star? It's just positively dreamy. And then a little gray one as well. And more baby grows. These, um, we were actually meant to decorate. There's a little vest. Um, we were meant to decorate at the baby shower, but we got too chatty and we were too busy with other activities that we ran out of time. So little man's got a whole bunch of plain white ones, which are great because you also need them for layering. Um, but during summer, just to have a plain vest is so lovely to have. And some bobs. Oh, 
little daydreamer so cute also another thing you can't have enough of is burps because you fly through them <laughs> quicker than you'd ever expect oh another tiny tiny little baby crow with a bear on oh he's so sweet and then this is so lovely because we actually did this for teddy um this hand print so when teddy was i think he was only about or maybe it was a week old but not more than a week um we did his one hand and his one foot and we've got that hanging in our kitchen and we love it we love looking at it because it's so small and it's so lovely to have another one to be able to do one set for one and one set for another and just keep them forever these are also great if you ever want to um, hang things on your Christmas tree ours is out 24-7 365 but uh, just a really really lovely sentimental gift next from my friend Eloise this little bear bag not little it's very big <laughs> um, this gorgeous gorgeous storage bag with a little bunny on if you can see that I think I might put this in the bathroom with all their little bath stuff and store that there but you can do this for anything you can keep toys in here um so i might repurpose it for something else they also sit so nicely on um a shelf so you can really put anything in here you can put books in here the absolute dream um just for very cute storage and then she bought him a lion <laughs> so sweet Teddy's in the process of learning animals and animal sounds. So he roars at the sound of a lion or at the sight of a lion. And then she also bought this, which is so cute because it is a little, um, little rack and it's got all the little bears on. And, oh, it's not just bears, two bears. And um, you can hang their school bags or their bath towels or anything on here which is really nice for both boys and I think we're going to get a lot of use out of this for sure my mum-in-law went wild so we've upgraded the baby bag which needed to happen because I was looking a little bit tatty house goes to crash so um, in addition to going everywhere else it goes to crash so it's looking a little bit sad so we've got this one and then we've got the other one that's come from the medical aid and you know you get the one from the hospital as well so we'll have a few to divide and conquer but I think I'll keep this one specifically for when I go out with the two boys because I'm gonna need a lot of stuff right um still not quite sure how you do this so if anyone's got tips please let me know okay so back to the woolies baby grows these lovely white ones and my mom in law is obsessed with woolies, so <laughs> um, she, I think she put us onto these. She said, You have to have these, these wash so nicely, they are so lovely, and you're gonna use them, you're gonna use tons of them. So, thank you so much. These are burp cloths, absolutely beautiful. We've actually got Teddy some pajamas in these fabrics. Um, well, we're definitely doing this fabric anyway and so yeah they're really nice because they're like toweling on the other side my others aren't like that so these are going to make amazing burp cloths burp cloths and you use them to wipe up whatever is spilt mopped i don't know um then she knows i'm a sucker for a scented candle and so she spoiled me with this one she has previously spoiled me with a um the bougie candle that I showed, I think it was in my previous vlog actually, it was by the fireplace. And um, this one is from the same brand, Locatan. Um, and this one is also a bougie candle, <laughs> a relaxing candle. And it's got scents of lavender, bergamot, mandarin, orange, and geranium. So it is so beautifully scented, I can't quite describe. It is so pretty, and as soon as my friend um, Amber saw it, oh, there's the front, sorry. As soon as my friend Amber saw it, she said, I need to pack it in my hospital bag. I don't know how safe it is to take a candle into a place full of oxygen. Um, but she was quite insistent, so maybe I'll pack it. 
another cute baby grow. This one's got a little plane on. They love to fly everywhere, so a lot of these have little planes on. So cute. And again, that Willie's like, it's got a little bit of a stretch and washes and dries so nicely. Born to fly. The ones where the legs are bare. So cute. So lovely. Um, the matching beanie with the helicopter and the tractor. And Teddy's going to be pointing out all of these things on his little baby brother because he can now. Um, this. I didn't see this last time. This is um, a little bag which is going to come in so handy for the hospital. Um, just says a gift for you with love from Woolies Bates. Um, so I'll be packing the clothes in here in my suitcase. I've got a little crab. I've actually seen these on Instagram and they look like they keep the kitties very entertained because they chase them all over the show and they change direction so just when you think you've got it you haven't quite um so that's very cute i have a lovely new blanket this is almost like waffle the waffle iron kind of fabric but it's got a you can see that it's really got a stretch so you can really swaddle baby but it is gorgeous this is from country road if i'm not mistaken so quite a lovely blanket um thank you so much to my mom in law yeah it is called a waffle blanket if anybody's interested and i love gray i find gray so calming even this room being this color the interior of this house is um mainly this color and i just find it so calming so peaceful this house is very calming for many reasons but the color on the walls is definitely one of them um then she also i mean this is a bag of tricks let me tell you she bought us these little zip bags, which are so nice for mommy things and then baby things, which I think is such a lovely gift for um, anybody that's going to go and have a baby and is packing their hospital bag. Because, you know, mommy's things can have anything from your hair clips, your earrings, your, um, your phone charger, your, you know, those bits and bobs that you just need to stick in one place and you actually can't afford the time to be sifting through a suitcase to find where you pack them so this is just delightful and then any small items that baby might need as well it's just so great it's nicely labeled very simple and going to be used a ton and then you can keep this in your um, baby bag after that as well it makes things so handy to so see it labeled make it simple you are busy when you are a mom, so anything that makes your life easier is a winner. Okay, then I see we've got a toweling set. So lovely. We've got a few of these for Teddy, and we've used these tons. So I know those come in very handy. And then face cloths. You cannot have enough face cloths. Use them for everything. Absolutely everything under the sun. Uh, not just bath time. So the more, the merrier. And they get worn, completely worn. So, yeah, it's nice that this little guy is going to have some fresh face cloths um, rather than using or sharing with Teddy. And then I just have to say that this bag, it's from Woolies, is amazing. It's got a little nappy changing thing in it. It's got a big handle, but it's also got like the crook of your arm kind of handle it's got zip sections at the front it's got your bottle pouches on the sides it is great so i often joke that my new handbag is a baby bag and sorry i've got something on my lip and so i often joke that my new handbag is my nappy bag but i'm actually not joking because <laughs> I have a little pouch also given to me by my very sweet mother-in-law um i have a little pouch and everything of mine gets stuck in there phone car keys cards everything gets stuck in there and it gets stuck into the nappy bag and the nappy bag that we for whatever reason decided to use was the medical aid one <laughs> so far from glamorous um this one is far smarter so thank you so much Next time I get from a friend that actually gave me this 
the minute she found out I was pregnant and um, she was almost heart sore because they were due to immigrate within the next two weeks so she said she wouldn't be around for this time so um, I definitely wanted to include it here so first off I've got um, this little teether toy it's like a pineapple watermelon kind of thing very very cute you stick in the fridge and this lovely baby grow at that point we didn't even know the gender but she picked correctly um it's a little footless one with a beanie very cute a little night lamp which you definitely need when you're waking up in the middle of the night to do your feeds which i have now been um educated that you do dream feeds during the night so as to avoid all sorts of issues <laughs> then i also received a play phone which is so sweet I think Teddy's gonna <laughs> stick his fingers in this before a little baby does. Now, if this is not cute, I don't know what is. This is a little fleecy swaddle with Velcro. It is too cute. It is so soft. <gasps> wow, it is so lovely. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen another one like it, actually. It says exclusive to Woolworths, so it must be. And then from my friend Paul, who has really spoiled this baby beyond, um, she also, she gifted us this when it was our gender reveal, so quite some time ago, but this cute baby grow that says the best thing to come out of 2023 for size newborn. I mean, isn't this the cutest thing ever? It is so sweet. Um, so stunning. Oh, so stunning. And then the matching um, little swaddle blanket as well. It also says best thing to come out of 2023. Oh, guys, this is so cute. It's got pants, which I hadn't realized, little pants, and socks too. Oh, and they're little lace up socks as well. It's like a little booty, actually. That's so sweet. And then she's also given us another cute little towel. Oh. I received another towel from Woolies from a friend of mine from work and also some more face cloths so we are in luck we have got plenty plenty little face cloths to keep this little baby clean and wiped and all of that good stuff so in this lovely lovely um, sage green and I don't think we have anything else in this sage green so that's really special <laughs> so cute <laughs> This one came from another friend from work, Andres, and it's so sweet. I've actually never seen others like this. This is very fluffy, fluffy slippers and a gorgeous little beanie in this, uh, what do you call this fabric? Um, fleecy, fleecy fabric. It's beautiful. So this is for zero to six months, which is quite lovely. <laughs> this beanie is too cute. <laughs> he also sent a little toothbrush um one of those that you can put on your finger and give babies gums and any new teeth a little bit of a brush so these are really handy to have also because it comes in a little um like a capsule so you can keep it clean and hygienic which is always a concern of mine so thank you andres in this beautiful baby bag i have got some more baby grows i have got a whole bunch of little white vests oh, these are so tiny oh look at the little elephants and the last little set has a whole lot of doggies on so i've got the doggy prints there the little sausages and then just a plain green last off i've got a little bag that came some time ago as well while ryan's aunt and uncle were visiting from the uk earlier this year there's a little sloth toy very sweet it's got little beans in so it's quite snuggly to hold and then a few gorgeous bibs and a whole bunch of beautiful prints. So I've got this little green one or lime green one. So cute. That just makes me want some milkshake to be honest with you. And then um, these little animal prints and a giraffe as well. So sweet. I have been completely and utterly spoiled in terms of all the clothes, towels, cloths, 
blankets, uh, baby products, um, and toys, books for um, this little guy. I can't thank any. I can't thank people enough, honestly. Um, thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, yeah, I'm without words to be honest. So I'm gonna go and get started on washing all of these clothes and getting ready for baby's arrival. But I hope you found this interesting and that uh, you enjoy taking a sneak peek into all the gifts that we've received. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.